super bears. One fine day in Bear Tropolis. So, we meet at long last, Destructo. You'll never defeat me, super mega awesome ultra bear. This world is mine. Not as long as I draw breath, villain. Whack! Slam! Yeah! Evil has been defeated. Once again. This isn't the end, super mega awesome ultra bear. could use a superhero, right? I'm the genius today. The villain could return again at any time. Someone must protect the forest. Uh, and that someone is me. When evil danger does descend, a hero must rise to defend, to stand against the villain's might and fight for what he knows is right. The wow-tastic Turbo Bear at your service. Yum -ba -bum. <laughs> Through the sky he flies, wiping out bad guys! <gasps> Prepare to face Wonder Thunder Bjorno! He's the greatest! Bjorn, need any rescuing? What do you mean? Wonder Thunder Bjorno does all the rescuing in this forest, my friend! <laughs> Wonder Thunder what now? Superhero? What kind of superpowers are you supposed to have? My powers rock. For example, I can spin a web of power rope. But it takes a long time. Dude, is that all? Hardly. I also have umbrellas. For protection, in case it rains. Ha! And you call those superpowers? Just watch this. <laughs> right? Nothing compares to the powers of the pow tactic Turbo Bear! I'll save us all! Ah! Yeah, but who will save you? I want to be the forest superhero! <laughs> all right, we'll just have to see which of us is the better superhero. <laughs> it's Turbo Bear versus Wonder Thunder Bjorno in an epic contest which will forever change the course of the next two and a half minutes. Turbo Bear's here, and I shall save you from harm. Hi, Bucky. Save me from what harm, huh? Uh, from the, uh, horrible robots. Thanks for that, but, you know, I'm actually okay. Oh, Franny, hi. Wonder Thunder Bjorno is here to help. Ignore him. He's not a real superhero like Turbo Bear. Just watch this. <laughs> right? Let's hear it for Turbo Bear. Hey, I can do super stuff as well. This ought to be good. Uh, keep watching. It's not impressive yet, but give it time. It'll be super impressive after a while. What kind of superpower takes this kind of time? It's been like an hour. There, all done. Impressive. Leon impressive. Watch this. <laughs> He's got a jetpack. Big deal. That's nothing compared to umbrella power. Yeah! Bucky, help! A friend in peril. A daring rescue. What could be more super heroic? What's that noise? It's nothing. We just ran out of fuel. That's all. But I think we've learned we're not superheroes. You're so right. We couldn't really save anybody. Whoa! Oh. But you did rescue each other. Don't you think that that should count? Uh, well, yeah! <laughs> we were superheroes for each other, right? You rescued me with your unimpressive web spinning. And you saved me with your out-of-gas jetpack. Guess what? We're really real superheroes! <laughs> Who do you think we should save next? I'll tell you who. We'll save Chicky. We're the Super Bears. And so begin the heroic adventures of those fearless furry guardians of the forest. Turbo Bucky and Wonder Thunder Bjorno, the amazing Super Bears. Bum, 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 bum. Getting.
Turning into character. <gasps> oh, heavens! Ha ha! Whack, whack! Take that, foul beast! Your breath is terrible! Huh? I've conquered the dragon! The people of my kingdom are safe once again! Let's hear it for King Bucky Bear! Hooray! 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 <laughs> Amazing performance, Bucky. Good job. Yeah, Bucky, you're really super good at playing a king. Well, if you say so, maybe I am. Why aren't you hanging your costume up? I'm just gonna wear this home tonight. Of course, your highness, whatever you please. <laughs> Bucky, Bucky, is he still asleep? And why have you come before us? Bucky, come with us. We're gonna have a soccer game. Are you joking? I'm far too busy with matters of state to play soccer. Dragons are everywhere. Be gone. Maybe we might join you. Of course, anything you please, your royal highness. All right, Franny. No chance you're stopping this one. Yaha, uh -huh, just bring it on. <sighs> Welcome, your royal buckiness. Dost thou wish to play soccer? A great king never plays. A king observes and judges. I royally open this tournament. Bucky, enough! Drop the act! The play's been over for a long time! Yeah, time to move on from this king junk. King junk? That's how you talk to the bear that protects you from dragons? Uh, you are aware dragons aren't real, right? They're very real! There's fire-breathing ones, three-headed ones, little purple ones, ones on scooters. There's like a frillion different kinds. And I've set traps for all of them. Huh? But maybe I'll just let them eat you. How about that? Fine, do whatever you want. Let's get out of here, Franny. Fine, but you'll come running back the second a dragon appears and tries to gobble you up. Bucky's gotten pretty deep into this character. He's lost his mind. Let's go play tag. Sure thing, you're it. Can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> That's very high. This has to be one of King Bucky's dragon traps. I'll be right back, Franny. Okay. Bucky! Bucky! Who is this Bucky? My name is King Buckheart, the really smart and handsome. So is there a dragon? Of course not. But it's one of your silly dragon traps. Poor Franny got caught inside it. Franny, we're here! Bucky, get her out of that thing. Guys, save me! It's really, really scary up here. Uh, I really didn't make a plan for getting it down. I just thought the dragon would stay in there forever. There's no such thing as dragons. Franny needs you, though, Buck, and that's real. Bucky, I'm so scared. Help me, your majesty! Oh. Uh, I'll be back. It's good to be the kingy, but when your trappy thingy puts your friend in danger, then uh-oh. It's groovy to be royal, but it's better to be loyal and help your friend out every way you know. I'm back, here we go! Bucky, what is that? I'm glad that you asked. It's an anti-dragon trapinator Isoratron. Franny, don't worry, you'll be out of there in no time. <laughs> Hooray! Bucky, thanks so much! You're my hero! Yeah, I like Bucky the Inventor better than King Doofus the First or whatever. <laughs> yeah, really? Well, as it turns out, absolute power isn't that fun. How about a good old soccer game? Hooray! I call goalie! I call queen! A journey! 
Good morning, Bjorn. What are you doing? Lucky, hi there. I'm just getting stuff ready to go. You mean you're going on a trip? Can I come too? Why not? Come on along. I just love to travel the world, but not on foot. Walking's too slow, plus you can't carry enough stuff, plus you don't see a lot, plus, plus you could get lost. We won't get lost when I bring this compass with us. Awesome! I've got an idea. Rope, please tell me you have some. Excellent. That'll work. Come over to my place in the morning and bring your stuff. Time to be awesome! Hi, Bucky. Oh, wait a minute. What's floating in your yard? It's for us. A hot air balloon for our trip. Uh... Come on. Climb on board. It's time for us to fly. I don't think I'll be traveling by air. No way. I am not a flying bear. Why not? The balloon will carry us and all our stuff, and there's no chance we'll get lost because we can see everything from up here. Well, even if you're right about all that, it's bad weather for flying today. Uh... Get it? You're afraid of flying, right? What? I am not afraid of flying. Whoa. Are you sure? Whoa. Problem! Uh, Bjorn! Bjorn! I'm really scared! Whoa. Hey! Bucky! Please do something, Bjorn! Help me! Oh, oh. Hang on! It's a hurricane! I hate flying! I'm not Travel was a bad call. I guess that we better walk home. But where's home? We've flown so far, I don't know the way back. Well, I don't know how to get back. Don't you have your fancy compass? Well, yeah, only it's still inside my backpack, which is back at your house. Uh, what are we gonna do about this? I wanna go home. Bucky, guess what? I think you were right, my friend. We can travel in this balloon of yours because I just had a great idea! That was some great thinking, Bjorn. This is a great view, just lovely. Don't forget that I need directions. Mm. Do your job. Go left. Good, I see our volcano over there. Turn to the right now, then straight ahead. You're doing great. Come on, let's switch jobs so I can do some flying too, Buck. Is it just me, or have I been pulling a lot longer than you did? Bjorn? Ooh, my scarf! Oh, look out! We're back at all those wires! Keep to the right! Yo! Bucky, your <laughs> other right! <laughs> oh, hey! There's your house! Hooray! We made it! Yeah. Traveling is pretty awesome. Let's get lost up north tomorrow. Let's what? <laughs> Bjorn, why are you laughing? I'm serious. <laughs> you can see everything from up here. <laughs> There's a reason bears don't have wings, right? Gardeners. Gardeners.
Hey there, Bjorn. So, why are you throwing all these seeds around? Hey, Bucky. Good morning. I'm not throwing them around. I'm planting a vegetable garden. It's going to be completely organic. So what does that mean? Uh, what's the word? Floor panic? It's where... What? You scatter your seeds around and then let nature do the rest. Completely organic, yeah! There's just no way you can leave this stuff to nature. You need to be technological. I'm talking about civilization! Huh? 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 Hi, Bjorn! Hi there, Bucky. What's happening? Morning, Franny. Hi. What's up? We're both planting vegetable gardens. Bjorn will do his organic thing while I use technology. That's spectacular. I'm off to pick blackberries. Later. I'm going to be like the greatest gardener in the history of gardens. Genius time farmer style. Behold, the Farminatortron Omaticizer. So, where do I want to plant all these seeds? I feel the need. The need for seed! I will make the planet feed me! There, all planted. What's step two? Right, water time! Well, looks like it's clearing up. Hmm. Bjorn, hey, what are all these green things over here? I don't think they're vegetables. Actually, they're weeds. They won't cause problems. They're harmless. The weeds are also part of the organic world. Well, you might not mind, but I don't want any weeds in my garden. Now I feel the need to weed. Take that, silly weeds. Very, very, quite contrary. Let my garden grow! Huzzah! Who are these little guys? Calm down. They're harmless insects. Don't worry. They don't interfere with my garden at all. Part of nature, right? Well, they sure interfere with my garden. Chicky, attack the bugs! Hmm. Nature will straighten everything out itself. Think what you like. My garden's gonna get lots of fertilizer. Huh? Hi there! I brought you some blackberries, guys! How are your gardens doing? Look! Mine has no weeds, mine has no insects, and lots of rocking fertilizer. So fertile! That's technology! Franny, hey! Do you want to take a look at my garden? No chemicals at all. Organic, nature's way. Organic's awesome! Really cool, Bjorn. And yours is cool, Bucky. But where are your crops? They're somewhere in here. I mean, they must be in here somewhere, right? I just have to find them. Oh, hold on, I know they're close by. Wait. Well? Crops incoming! Where are the tomatoes? Uh, they should be here. I just need to look for them. Uh, there. Just come on. Hey, I found one. <laughs> well, they're not big. Bjorn, this is all your fault. And why is it my fault? I'll tell you why. Because your weeds are everywhere. So? What do my weeds have to do with anything? Hey, guys, what if you two take a step back and see if you put your cute heads together? You can figure this out. I'm not sure, but thanks for your input. I should get going. Bye, guys! Well, so, you want to try this? Try this what? Combining our different ways. We could try it, but there can't be any weeds. That's fine. And maybe a bit less cannons and screaming. Look what we did! It's better to work together than apart. Don't you think, Bucky? Duh! We actually make a pretty good team, the two of us. Dude! We should be on TV! Yeah. Home stretch! This is awesome!
some! <laughs> yeah! Oh, guys! We should totally make our own racing cars, am I right? Yeah! And he's off. I'm building the super fastest car with super strength and super muscle. Zoom across the finish line. Engine, gas, super turbo, vroom! <laughs> Hit the brakes. <laughs> what? We don't want a plain, regular smoggy car with oil drips and all that exhaust. We huh? should build a whole new kind of car. One that runs on pure, clean fuel. Like the wind, for instance. And we could just float like clouds. What? Cars should be as fast as huh? lightning! Engine, gas, super turbo, we need to build a proper racing car! But my wind car would be pretty quick. Let's make my wind-powered race car. Listen, guys, why don't we just make both of them? And then we can race the cars against each other. What do you think? Should we race? Totally. Yeah! The racers pull up to the starting line. On the right, you will see in the red helmet, Thunder Bucky in his sweet super ride, the SKT 4 million trillion gajillion! The fastest, most powerful race car in the universe! Ha! <laughs> and on the left, you'll see in the blue helmet, Bjorn Free in his clean and lightweight and eco-friendly new vehicle, the Speedy Cloud! Gentlemen, start your engines! Ready? Get set, race! Eat my dust, wind boy! What you doing? Hmm? <laughs> I'm riding the wind, like the wind! <laughs> Broomity broom, 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 broom! So whoosh! I guess, maybe. Broom! Vroom, vroom, screech! Yeah! I've got to be the fastest bear in the world! Vroom! Turn, screech! Yeah! Oh! Out of the way, tree! Ouchie! Oh! This is very bad! Rock, rock! Oh. Rock! Fuck! Are you all right? Well, I think I'm all right. Just had a bit of a hiccup with my awesome race car. Whereas my eco-friendly wind machine is absolutely immune to the hiccups. Oh. Oh. Uh, I think the wind stopped. <sighs> I could use some eco help here. My goodness, nobody even made it across the finish line, guys. Well, if there's no wind, there's no eco speed. It just needs some wind. All right, then. Bucky, what do you have? A fan. It blows air in one direction. Just like, oh, maybe the wind. And who might need some wind? Do I need to spell it out? Franny's right. Let's work together to make wind. But of course, Fran, you're a genius. <laughs> Can't wait to see the speedy cloud four gajillion trillion million in action! Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Steer to the left! Aye aye, Captain! Woohoo! Yay! It's awesome! Yeah! Taking walks and Playing games when there's sunny weather. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. Friends together! Or inventing super mega awesome one of a kind race cars together! Everything together! Just the right size! Mm. 
a troll's knees. You guys never change. You care more about trolls or whatever than me. Don't be silly. We care about you, Franny. Hey, trolls don't even exist, but you're completely real. Oh, Franny. I think I know what can be done to help you. Hey, we're gonna build Franny something. A fancy ladder just for her so she can reach the cherries. Awesome plan. <laughs> <laughs> My workshop is out of bounds for little kids. Hey, why don't you go swing or something? We'll be right back. Bjorn, close the curtains. This is gonna be awesome. No little kids. That's all I ever hear. I'm sick of being little. Flying through the sky like a furry butterfly. She's so cool, I'll tell you why. She's Franny the Cool Big Fox! I am! <laughs> Ladders are okay. This will be way cool. Done. The larger charger. Hey, where's Fran? The trolls ate her. Uh, she's probably picking flowers somewhere. Or trying to pick cherries. Let's go find her. New invention? Larger charger, huh? I wonder if it'll make me bigger. Hey, what happened to me? Where could Franny have possibly gone? That girl's always so much trouble. It's a troll! Not a troll. It's Franny, guys! Franny, guys? Charger without even asking first. I just wanted to be big enough so you guys would have to notice me. Well, you're certainly hard to miss like this. <laughs> don't be upset, Franny. <laughs> we'll think of a way to help. I don't Whoa. want to be a troll. <gasps> just stop crying. You're acting like a big baby. I can't help it. <laughs> so you won't be too small anymore. Bucky, it's time. Get Franny's big surprise, please. Oh, please, just not the larger charger. I've never heard of that, but this is yours. To get at high branches, the Super Climatron. You made me a ladder of my very own? A ladder? This is no ordinary ladder. It's a Super Climatron with an advanced platform system and dual bear transport action. So, Franny, you can pick all the yummy cherries that you'd like now. Come try it out. <laughs> yeah, Climatronic, baby! Oh, I'm telling you, the trolls are absolutely for real. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure they are. I suppose the trolls can just rip trees right from the ground, too. Yeah, of course. Mm. Silly bears. I just adore you. <laughs> A real ninja. Good morning.
morning, Bjorn. Whoa! What's the deal with your leg? Trying to stick your toe in your ear or something? I'm practicing powerful Eastern martial arts. That is fancy. I want to become a real live grizzly belt. Someday, maybe I'll even become a ninja. The ninja were great legendary ancient warriors who, with one mighty blow, could break wooden boards in half. No way! I've always dreamed of becoming an ancient warrior. Forget wooden boards. Watch me split this whole tree with one mighty whack. Hiya! What are you doing, Bucky? Did you hurt yourself? Do I need to remind you about your limits again? I wanted to split this tree in two just like a ninja. Well, maybe this kind of tree just isn't ninja friendly. So that's it. What I need is the right kind of tree. Time to be an awesome ninja! Hmm. I'm not sure I could split this post with a single hit. It's clearly not ninja friendly, but I can teach it to be. Just gotta work up a lesson plan. No, not these. No junk. Even more no. There we go. <laughs> Feel friendly now? <laughs> now that's more like it. Yeah! With my sweet chainsaw sword, I'll be the greatest ninja in the world. Vanquishing evil, slicing trees, the greatest ninja ever. He's Bukai! 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 Bu -bu 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 -kai 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 -kai. For the first time ever, the amazingly awesome ancient ninja Bukai will be demonstrating all his super fine skills at the clearing in the woods. I'm just here for the popcorn. Yeah, me too. Welcome, friends, Franny, Bjorn, and other assorted admirers from around the world. I am the great ninja Bukai, zillionth level grizzly belt. I will now demonstrate my super amazing ninja skills. This should be interesting. Huh? Dude, that was amazing. You ain't seen nothing yet. Bucky, that tree trunk seems too big. Are you sure about this? Just relax. Bukai knows what he's doing. Ninja time! Should I just go ahead and call a doctor now? Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Thank you. Thank you very much. Bucky, what's happening? I might have gone a bit too far with my chainsaw sword. Technically, I did do all of this with just one kick. Hey, Ninja Bucky, look out! Bucky! Ugh. A true ninja knows when to run away! Whoa! I will now demonstrate my ninja escape the falling tree skills! <laughs> What have you done, Bucky? I wanted the trees to be ninja friendly, but they turned out to be ninja unfriendly. <laughs> uh oh, this looks like a good spot for an ambush. Uh, very bad. Uh, even worse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? <sighs> she surprises and shocks as she knocks off blocks. Yeah, she totally rocks. She's a ninja fox! Franny! Franny! Franny the fox! Huh? Franny. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what just happened? You're... I'm a grizzly belt, but just third degree. Do you want lessons, guys? Is that technique or what? It's nice. We've got a real ninja teacher now. Hey, Franny, when will we be able to chop through bricks? It's Master Franny. Now keep practicing. Yes, Master Franny. Vanquishing evil, slicing trees, the greatest ninja ever. She's Franny? That fierce little fox totally rocks. Slippery Joe. Gonna be so cool to have a swimming pool. Mm. Gonna 
swim like an otter. Just need to add the water. That's one. Oh, boy. The tireless trackers wiggle with purpose through the wilderness underbrush. Be on the lookout, friend. The evil Slippery Joe must be near. Just look here. Some suspicious footprints. Oh, hey, there you are, guys. I've been looking for you. Can you both help me fetch water from the pump? Granny, look. Can't you see we're playing here? Yeah, we're natives. But natives are good at carrying water, right? They're good at a lot. Natives are trackers, warriors. They are a proud, free people. That's right. We're great warriors of the tribe. We don't carry water, honestly. Look, this is the perfect place. From way up here, we'll be able to ambush Slippery Joe. Fine. Pump, pump, pump! They say that Slippery Joe likes to tie his enemies to the stickiest tree and tickle them until they pass out. Horror! That monstrous fiend! Uh, uh. <laughs> We're on the warpath! We're fighting Slippery Joe! We'll stop him! <laughs> Slippery Joe, watch your back! Here comes a Bucky and Bjorn attack! Slippery Joe? <laughs> Interesting. It's finally time for Franny to be awesome! Yeah! Slippery Snip, Joe So! <laughs> One final detail! <laughs> Nailed it! <gasps> it's impossible, Bjorn! Tell me you see those creepy footprints! Look there! Slippery Joe! Slippery Joe! Slippery Joe! Do you think he could really be here for real? It's, it's Slippery Joe! Joe! Bad, scary feelings! <laughs> Where are you going, boys? You're not ticklish, are you? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 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 Bjorn, return fire! Yeah. <sighs> My arrows rain down like evil snow! Try to run, but there's nowhere to go! I'm too fast and you're too slow! You can't get away from Slippery Joe! And my sticky last zone! <laughs> we didn't mean any harm, Mr. Joe, sir. Oh, please release us! Please don't tickle us till we pass out! Pretty please! <laughs> <sighs> But be quiet! Oh, hi, fellas! So how come you're tied to a tree? Um, we're just playing. It's complicated. Granny, will you please untie us? If I do, will you help me carry water from the pump? Absolutely! As much water as you want! Just please keep your voice down, okay? Hmm, I don't know. I thought great warriors didn't carry water. I was just joking. They're awesome water carriers. Well, all right. You're the best! But let's get out of here, fast! Gonna be so cool to have a swimming pool. Gonna swim like an otter. Soon as those gullible boys finish carrying all my water. <laughs> I'm sick of this. How much water could she possibly need? Your name, do you think? We could just slip away. Well, I guess. Just sneak like we're native warriors. Uh, oh! Hey! Slippery Joe wants four more buckets of water. <laughs> then all of us can swim. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Slippery Joe Water Show! You can call me clever. You can call me cool. <laughs> But now I've got a swimming pool! <laughs> <laughs> Song for, for Franny. Franny. Every day just has a way to feeling your... extra lucky. 
when you eh, spend it with a friend. Just like Bjorn, Bjorn and Bucky. Bucky! Bjorn and Bucky forever! Gosh, you guys are lucky. Must be nice to have your very own song. You could sing it with us. No one's stopping you. Nah, it's just about you guys. That's pretty clear. There aren't any songs about Franny the Fox. Yo! Ugh. Franny, why didn't you say something earlier? We'll come up with a special song just for you. The coolest song in the history of forever! Bjorn, you can write poetry, right? Poetry? I'm not entirely sure. I'm sort of good at it. Ish. You're hired, William Shakespeare! <clears throat> like the clouds above is the fox we love. Sure as the sun above my head, her fur is red. Uh, nope. It's just too simple. It doesn't work for me. Well, I liked it. I've got an idea that's way better. Time to be poetic! <laughs> the only one for the two of us, like 33 is 215. Like 8 set to 9 on the 0 of 2, I will find ways be your 12. How is that poetry? It's totally modern, so it's perfect for Franny's song. Seriously? That can't be put to music, it's just nonsense. But my poem's just right to sing. Like the clouds up above is the fox that we love. Sure as the sun above my head, her fur is red, ooh. Mine can be set to music as well, just you wait. Time to be musical! <laughs> The only one for the two of us, like 33 is 215. Like 8 set to 9 on the 0 of 2, I'll five ways be your 12. That is something else. I like both of them lots and lots. Can I try singing them myself? Not so fast, Franny. Don't forget the dance. Every great song needs a dance. Bucky, can you do this? That? Of course! <laughs> Franny, take a look at your own song and dance. Like the clouds up above Is that fox that we love Sure as the sun above my head Her fur is red Yeah, all right I'm so jazzed up The only one for the two of us Like 33 is to 15 Like 8 to 9 and the 0 of 2 All five ways be your 12 Well, gonna bust a move to the backbeat group But you never ever seen a bear this move Yeah Awesome, can I try? Hold it. There's something missing. What do you mean, Bucky? We have a song and a dance. We're ready for the stage now. You're right. What's missing is a stage. Guess what, Branny? I'm going to build you the awesomest stage. You'll love it. If you want to be the music phenom of the age, if you want your picture on every front page, if you want your dance moves to be like all the rage, then you're going to need a first-rate super awesome stage. And once you got everything ready to go, just like the sun says, it's time for the show. Ladies and gentle bears, give it up for the foxiest of foxes! Look, here comes the moon. This is one of the coolest ideas you've ever had. Thanks a lot. Let's cue the snow. Microphone. She looks like a star. Now shine. Like the clouds above is that fox we love. Sure as the Whoa. sun above my head, I'm red. Bravo. Brilliant. I love well, you. Well, what did you think, guys? Um, well, uh, it was all right. You just need a lot more rehearsal. A whole lot more rehearsal for sure. You're great, though. Like the clouds above is that fox we uh. love. Well, huh? was that better, fellas? Uh, maybe just a little bit. Just keep rehearsing, kid. Like the clouds above. You know what? There's such a thing as rehearsing too much. But I can keep going. Nah, you don't want to exhaust yourself. <sighs> Maybe if I sing really loud. Like no, no, we'll rehearse more tomorrow. After I've bought earplugs. Have you heard, heard, heard about the bird, bird, bird? That's so cool. Yeah, Thompson. Chicky loves you. Bucky FM. Shovel full, 
Shovel. I'm tired of this. <gasps> Shovel. Oh. Ugh. So, Bjorn, when do you think our skating rink will be ready? <sighs> it should be done by tonight, I hope. Tonight? So we have to keep shoveling until then? Whoa! Awesome idea! Some music would make the work less terrible. I'll be right back. There! Now here's a little delightful music for us to shovel snow by. <laughs> Thanks, Bucky! I think you'd make an awesome disc jockey like on the radio. On the radio? Time to broadcast some awesome! Hey, groovy people here and there! Hey, groovy people everywhere! The world's smartest awesome beer will soon be live and on the air! Checkity check check! Uh, is this thing on? Hello there, dear radio audience friends! Welcome to Radio Free Bucky! Bucky? What about the ice rink work? Coming at you live, this is the Buckmeister, the forest's coolest DJ playing the forest's hottest tunes. All right, it's the awesomest! Right? So I've got my own show on the radio. I'll be playing you super sweet music night and day. All right, fine, but we need to fetch some water for the rink. Um, do you guys hear anything? Nah, nothing, dude. Massive problem, guys. There's no sound. My radio show isn't on. That's just plain wrong. Relax, mammals. Radio Free Bucky is back on the air. Tell us what's going on with you, Bucky. Are you just going to sit inside all day long, Bucky? Yes, I am. These righteous tunes aren't going to announce themselves. This next remarkably upbeat song is dedicated to yours truly. You know the words. Playing games when there's sunny weather. Sunny weather. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. Books together. Yeah. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. Lucky, extra lucky. When you spend it with a friend, just like Bjorn and Bucky. That's right. Just yeah. like Bjorn and Bucky. Radio Free Bucky. At the sound of the tone, it'll be midnight o'clock. Sort of late. <sighs> and now your favorite DJ, the Buckmeister, will read a bedtime story just for you. Bucky's Sleepy Time Tales. Ah, the story starts. Little Red Riding Hood built three houses of straw and sticks and bricks. No, wait. Mm. Uh, oh, she sold her glass slipper Ugh. to the goose that laid golden mm. eggs for five magic fiends. And then, um, space monkeys attack. The end. Sweet dreams. Good morning, dainty little listening ears. It's a new day of Radio Free Bucky. And it's time for, oh, I don't know, a song or something that you can do your morning exercises to. That's a thing. Right? I think Bucky was at it all night. Franny, we've got to stop this madness. Yeah, we'll never have a decent hockey game without him. You're right. I might have an idea. When your friend has disappeared into a feedback loop of weird, just show him what he's missing, and maybe then he'll listen. <laughs> and now for the news of the morning. Huh? What's that sound? What's going on out there? All oh, right, a hockey game. Right, Bjorn shoots off the boards. He recovers the puck and passes to Franny. Oh, and she takes that down. All right, he's watching us. Just keep messing up like that. Bjorn moves to take a shot. Oh, and misses the puck completely. Oh, missed it, huh? You call that hockey? Franny passes. Bjorn shoots again. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Who plays like that? That's it. I'm going down there. Yay! Bucky, you're on the ice with us. Here's how you play hockey. Bjorn, pass. Oh! Ha. Oh, yeah. Let's play the 10, Bjorn. Bucky, but what about your radio show? really know, but these goals aren't going to score themselves. Franny, you're on my team. Come on. First to ten wins. Let's get started. Franny passes to Buck. He drives down the ice and scores. And Bjorn scores. Franny's in control of the puck. <laughs> Looking good and goal. Bucky passes to Bjorn and goal. Bjorn, Bucky, blow it up. Goal. Yay, hockey. Yay, friendship. <laughs> Bears on ice. 
Zamboni bear, Zamboni bear, making sure the ice is there. We've got the bestest ice rink ever. So, what are we gonna play today? Well, what do you think? Hockey! Hockey time! <laughs> hey, huh? it's great to skate, 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 skate. Brandy, On the ice, 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 it's nice, nice. We're playing nice. hockey, right? I think figure skating might be really nice for a change. That's a bad idea, Franny. Figure skating's totally boring. Sorry, but hockey's a little bit rough for me, and I don't feel like playing it today. La, but that la, wouldn't la, work. La, we need two la, la, players la, on each team. All right, fine. Huh? Before we play hockey, we'll do your figure skating thing. But hockey after, all right? Great! You've got yourself a deal. Fantastic. We're all gonna figure skate. The things we do for hockey, bro. Give it up for ice skating legends Franny and Chucky! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and now, here it comes. The double, triple, quad, extra, mega, complicated, super duper loop! Loopy, loopy, loop! There it is! We're waiting to hear from the judges! Franny, hey! Where did you put the other scoring signs? We haven't got anything but tens! Well, obviously, you don't need anything else. And first place goes to... Franny! You may now award me my wonderful prize. Franny, this game is absolutely ridiculous. But I think Bjorn and I can make it better. Really? So can you add, like, music and lights and stuff like that? And a costume with seven billion sequins? Heck yeah, wait here! Bears on ice! Franny, look! We came up with everything for your ice skating performance. Just listen up. So here's what you need. Lights on poles and fancy bleachers, all the big time pro skate features. It'll be something to behold, our Franny skating for the gold! Chicky, what do you think? Yeah! Welcome to the Franny Dome! All right. Let's slice some ice. Work those blades, mammals. That looked graceful, right? Bucky, just watch and learn. Oh, oh. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Wow, guys, that's actually pretty good. Yeah! Nice moves. It looks like you're ready. Nails, Nails on, on ice. ice! Wormsicles, sea burgers. Ladies and gentle birds, are you ready to see some world-class figure skating? Of course you are. Hit it. A spotlight. A bear. A fox. It's magic time. Oh, it's great, great, great to skate, skate, skate on the ice, ice, ice. So nice, nice, nice. It's a sequin paradise, dice, dice. So we twirl and glide, and it's quite a ride. We jump and spin with a giant grin, because we got an extra super special, big, important, fancy, awesome, wonderful, impressive, really shiny and magnificent medal to win! Ladies and gentle birds, Franny and Bucky! And now, let's see what our score is. <laughs> Perfect tens across the board! A ridiculously great score! Franny and Bucky t-shirts and bobbleheads available at the merch table by the exit. I just can't thank you enough, guys. That was the best time I ever had on ice. All right, ready for hockey? You mean, play hockey now? Whose team am I on, guys? Um, the thing is, um, I was hoping we could work on our double lift. Bucky's right. That big triple spin jump was a little bit off, you know. You really should work on it. It's almost there. But what about hockey? How about this? After we work on our figure skating routine a little, then we can have a hockey game. All right, fine. Welcome to the Franny Dome! Dome, dome, where figure skating excellence makes its home! Home, home. Let's slice some ice! Because we got an extra super special, big, important, Whoa. fancy, awesome, wonderful, impressive, really shiny and magnificent medal to win! Yeah. <laughs> the, the surprise! surprise. Uh, 
Ah, our beautiful space neighborhood, the Milky Way. The moon is on the Great Bear's bottom. Ah, interesting, don't you think? And the planet Mercury's on the Little Bear's bottom. And that would mean... Bucky, hey, you're sleeping through this? Come on, wake up, Bucky! I'm absolutely not sleeping. I'm just resting my eyes a little. Bucky, look, the moon's on the Great Bear's bottom. It isn't my fault, Bjorn. Just wake up, Bucky. It's so exciting. The position of the planets and stars means that sometime tomorrow, we'll be getting an awesome surprise. I'm up. <sighs> hey, where are you going? Home to start waiting for the surprise. I love surprises. Surprises ah. are the best. <laughs> Uh, hooray! Huh? Surprise time! Oh, it's just Franny. Good morning, fellas. Did someone say surprise? All the planets and stars were in positions that told us that we'd be getting a big surprise. So we're waiting for it. But I thought we were all planning to go skiing together. No way! We haven't got time. We have to wait for the surprise to come. Are you sure you have to wait at home? Because it's really nice outside. All right, then. Come on, Chicky. Like we'd even consider skiing today. We'd miss the awesome surprise. So, Bjorn, how much longer till it comes, huh? Haven't got a clue. I haven't ever waited for a wonderful surprise until now. We'll just wait and see, I guess. Wow. All right, Chicky, time to have some fun. We're telling lies. Wow. Take a look at that. It's beautiful. <gasps> hey, look at the sky. Doesn't it take your breath away? That must be what they call the Northern Lights. It's like something out of a fairy tale. Look here, Bucky. It's your Turbo Super Tronomatic Rocket Pack. Finding this might be our surprise. It's broken. It couldn't be. Could it be your old favorite fishing rod? You were extremely upset when you lost it. Nah, I made another fishing rod when I lost that one. An even better one. Now what, Bucky? Could be that I read the stars wrong. So, I guess it's possible our surprise might be no surprise at all. Huh? You will not believe what I just saw! Only the most amazing thing in the whole wide world! The Northern Lights turned the whole pond into a magical frozen wonderland! The Northern Lights are shining for real? That's massively cool! You expect us to believe you saw the Northern Lights? If you doubt it, come and see for yourselves! There I am, and there's Chicky, and me with Chicky. How did it go? Did you get your surprise? Sure, of course. It turned out to be this magic cookie. Uh, Chicky! <laughs> Give that back! That's our fake surprise! Chicky, I had a really disappointing day and I need that cookie! <laughs> a present for Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stealthy, sneaky, like a ninja spy ghost. Oh, I see. Right, position's good. Mega Snoopomatic time. Booting up. System check. I spy with my robot eye. A super genius guy. Hi. And here we go. Oh, really? Okay, fine. We'll warm it. Right, just a little bit further. It's almost in position. Uh-oh. Uh Lucky, I know you can hear me. No, I can't. Come on. I can see you back there. Uh, Are uh, you still uh, trying to find out what I'm giving you for a birthday present? Never. Well, maybe a little, yes. But, Bucky, it's a surprise. Just one little hint. The size or the color. What letter of the alphabet does it start with? Bucky, hmm? it's a uh, surprise. Oh. La, 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 it's apple time. Yeah! Hi there, <gasps> Granny. Do you know what Bjorn's giving me for a birthday present? He didn't tell me. What? It's nothing too special. It's only the super coolest, awesomest, mind blowing <gasps> birthday present that the world's ever seen. <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome! He's the best! Bjorn, come on! Pretty please with super tons of whipped cream on top of it? Tell me what Bucky's birthday present is! All right. But promise you aren't going to spoil the surprise. Crossing my heart, I completely swear that never shall this news I share. All right, come see. The password is iceberg underwear. Pretty impressive security. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. Gosh and golly! This is just totally the best! La 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 la! Granny, I you can't gotta tell me what my present is! Come I'm on! To I'm myself. dying here! I'm begging you, please! <laughs> Sorry, Bucky. Did you say something? If it was something about your present, I promised Bjorn I'd keep it secret. Fine. Keep his dumb secret. Let's forget it then. I bet he didn't really tell you. Yes, he did too. Uh, no, he didn't. He absolutely did. Nope, didn't happen. You're wrong. He did. Bjorn's giving you a card with beautiful dried daisies on it. <gasps> uh, is that really it? Truly? Dried flowers on a crummy little card! Disappointment. Crushing me like a boa constrictor. Midnight. Welcome to the anniversary of the day you were activated. Short party. Disappointment. Card daisies. Come back tomorrow or never! Hmm? Huh? Bucky, hey! Happy birthday to you from your dearest friends! I prepared you a little surprise, and if you're ready... Bjorn, I kind of already know. A card with dried flowers stuck on I'm it. I'm not sure what that means. This, Bucky, is a glider, see? It's taken me practically a whole month to build it. So happy birthday, Bucky! Ugh. All right! A glider! I don't believe it! This is incredible! Thank you, Bjorny! You're just the best! And the cake is awesome, so yummy and creamy! This is the best birthday in the entire history of Bucky Bear birthdays! Franny, <laughs> 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 you totally had me going with that whole card thing! I know! I am a master of deception! <laughs> Movie, movie, movie. Well, come on, Franny. We've got to see what your big surprise.
surprises. A fancy cake or some crazy awesome punch, please? Nope. Welcome to the world premiere of Freddy's Big Adventure! Adventure? You made a movie, guys? <laughs> This'll be great! Come on! Dude, start this movie! Did you make some popcorn? In our film, a prince has undergone 48 trials. Spoiler alert, though, right, guys? Guess I should just let you see for yourselves. Chicky, it's showtime! 48! La -la 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 -la. My brave and persistent prince! After such a long time, my goodness, you've finally done it! Complete 48 grand and awesome trials, haven't you? My noble hero! La -la -la. What in the world was that? A tale of love and adventure and thankless tasks. It's kind of a metaphor for being alive. Take it easy there, Spielberg. What it was was super boring. Bjorn, back me up here. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess for a first try, it wasn't bad. What? Bjorn, come on. A movie's supposed to have all kinds of effects. Superheroes everywhere. So thanks for sharing your so-called movie, Franny. Mm. But now, Bjorn and I are gonna make a movie. A good one. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Bjorn versus Buccinator. Scene 1-A, take one. Speed! Crane! <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourself, Frenny, to have your mind blown by a movie masterpiece. I can't stand carrots! Can't stand you! Can't stand you! Can't stand all of you orange skinny dudes! Take that, evil health missile! Buccinator! Uh, what? Is the crane broken? Ah! Buccinator. How dare you mess with my new atomic quantum nuclear carrots! Veggie vengeance! <laughs> Your wimpy vegetables have no effect on me, robo loser! <laughs> Whoa, really fallen! Hooray! Veggie's victorious! Bucky, seriously, are you all right? Wonderful! That was really creative! A whole movie about carrots! It's about time. Are you serious, Franny? It's not about carrots! It's got robots and superheroes and fights! Come on, Bjorn, tell her! Sorry, but Franny's kind of right. It's a fight over carrots, dude. It's pretty goofy. Hang on, guys. What if it were a fight over a princess, though? I could never pull off the princess look. I will be the princess. I already have the outfit. What? Make a movie with you? Bucky, don't you think a princess would make a better character than the carrot did? All right, fine. But I draw the line at doofus dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dramatically satisfying princess. Care about me. I am innocent and sweet. It'd be such a shame if I got eaten by a big dragon. Eaten by a big dragon! A big late dragon! Oh my! Help! Help! Oh, where is my sweet prince, Alack? Don't let me become a dragon snack! I'm here, your Princess Ness. I'll do uh, your rescue now. And I'll save you as well, your Princess Ness. What are you doing? You're my horse. My character's more than a simple horse. He's a genetically altered horse bear. Hey, if you work together to rescue me, it's a bunny picture. Ow! Uh, Chicky, gracious, uh -huh. did I hit you? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. But just let me collect my knighting stuff and I'll vanquish him! Um, ah! My heroes have saved me! Now, we dance! Ah, Long ah, live Horse Bear! That was just awesome! We are a couple of geniuses! And without a single root vegetable, right, Franny? Huh? Huh? Hmm. Huh? Your galaxy has been selected for engoopulation. Plurp, plurp, plurp. Ah! Uh, I'm too handsome to engoopulate. It's me! We have got to make a science fiction movie next. La, 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 la. Miracle Inventor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Chicky! Hey there! What you doing? Some dragonfly hunting? Chicky, you're a lucky bird. Let me introduce your yellow behind to the dragon snagging wagon. Look here. Um, just press the button. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe give it a little room. See, Chicky? Just like that. Knock yourself out, little guy. You're welcome. What you doing? Hello, Bucky. Just hanging up my clothes. Pfft. Franny, my friend, you're a lucky fox. Look what I just invented. It's called the Higher Dryer Spire, and you're gonna love it. Look, we'll put this here, and this here, and that there. Whoa, you've got a lot of clothes. Uh -huh. Ready, just push this. Look at that. Knock yourself out, Franny. You're welcome. Oh! So, uh, I guess, uh, thanks, Bucky. Huh? Uh, ah! Hey there, Bjorni. Gee, so what you doing? I'm just watching the leaves falling. There's just nothing quite like them. You call that falling? Ha! I'll give you some falling leaves. Ta-da! Meet the Guster Thruster. Now there's some falling leaves. Uh, uh, uh. Bucky! What are you doing? What do you mean? Whoa. I'm making some falling leaves! Whoa. Uh -huh. Could use some recalibration, but over I think we crushed it. Right, buddy? Well, the truth is that I kind of prefer it when the leaves fall by themselves. Bucky, no invention could ever hope to compete with the incredible beauty of nature itself. Like, for instance, that rainbow there. Just look at how unbelievably beautiful it is. Rainbow, huh? Sure, I guess it's pretty. So you see, it's true. You can't make beauty like that with one of your inventions. Yeah? Huh? Is that right? Well, what I'm gonna do is make a rainbow generating machine now. Red, orange, yellow, and green and blue, and indigo and violet too. Oh, there's nothing my machines can't do, and I'm on a quest to prove it's true. Bjorn, I'll show you. Hi there, presenting my awesome new invention, the crazy amazing spectral schism prism mechanism. It makes rainbows. Ta-da! Just look at that! <laughs> Lucky, your rainbow is a little bit, uh, wonky. Uh, it needs a little adjustment. Just a bit, uh, oh, no, not maybe, yes, uh, Twiggy. Uh, just work, you hunk of junk. <sighs> just, uh, uh, almost there. A few more seconds and I'll have it. Bucky, would it be all right if I went home? Then you could amaze us with all this later. Are you kidding? You can't leave. We're seconds away from witnessing the world's first perfect artificial rainbow. Come on, just work. I know you can do it! Ugh. Ugh. Bucky! Look there! Up in the sky! It's the... Goodness, it's just like the Northern Lights! Just like the Northern Lights? Really? Are you sure? Yeah, we have them in the north where I come from. Northern Lights? Awesome! I'm a genius! After all, we don't need fake rainbows. We get real ones all the time. The Northern Lights on the other paw. Bucky, thank you so much. Look, over there, a shooting star. Aw, I didn't even get a chance to make a wish. Bucky, where are you going? Um, I'll be back with my new falling star making machine. Because that's what I do. Bucky too. Just need to thing the doohickey, tighten up the what's it, after that, it's sure to work. Bucky, hey there. My 
ball just got stuck up in a tree. Will you please help me get it down again? Franny, sorry, but I'm busy. I'm making an invention that's so crazy cool, it'll knock your socks off. Sounds great. But who's going to help me get my ball unstuck from the tree? Just ask Bjorn. But he's really scared of heights. Well, I have a ladder you can use. I can't carry that. What, should I split in two so you can carry it? Whoa, that's quite an idea. Right then, just wait out there. I need, like, five minutes. Hooray, you're the best. One Bucky's pretty good, but a pair would be better. The bulb above my head begins to shine, and I hatch a brand new grand design. When you see this cool new thing of mine, you're gonna call me Victor Buckenstein. He's alive! Well, on at least. Well, Bucky too? Come on, say something, dude. Something, dude. Oh, right. Just let me make an adjustment back here. Something, dude. Something, dude. I'll go, compañero. Something, dude. Uh, something, dude. Howdy there. Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Bucky Bear. How about this weather? Gorgeous. Uh, what? I'm not like that. I'll turn down the grinning small talk. What's up? Bucky's the name. Isn't the weather rockin'? Closer. Should be all right. So now, Bucky the second, my friend, find Franny and help her out. What a great plan! <laughs> ah, other me! So you're home! Yeah, uh huh? Why don't you rest? Where can you take a break? Mm, yeah, in there! Great! A little more time and I'll be done. Bucky, hi there. Hi, Bjorn. So my fishing rod got all snagged up on something in the river. Can you help me unsnag it? Are you guys doing this on purpose? What are you talking about, Bucky? I'm not even sure. Of course I'll help you. I just need a little minute or two. Okay, thanks. We'll be right outside. Other me, I've got another job for you. Bjorn needs your help with something. I'd love to help. Great. Bye. I've got such an amazing mind. It's just perfect having other me. I've got so much more time to get stuff done. Oh, it's other me. Well, did you help my friend? Yeah, of course, original me. Well, great. Uh, you're really excellent, you know, at being me. So thanks. All right, get some rest. If I need you, I'll let you know. Bucky, thanks for huh? your help with my rod. You want to go play soccer? And pig out on some really yummy pies? I've got all these new recipes that are just the nummiest. Soccer and pie? Now that sounds like a good time. I'll be there in a minute. I just need to do another thing or two. Hey, other me. I don't need any help. Soccer and pie eating aren't a bad interruption. Not fair. They're my good friends. I'm the one that helped. I'm the one that gets to play. Um, other me? Is this some kind of a joke? You're a thing that I made. No, I'm a better Bucky than you are. Hey, put me down. Whoa, whoa. Let me out of here. Now you're other and I'm original. <coughs> here I come, guys, and I'm ready to play. <laughs> Mind is racing, pacing, pacing, angry clone I should be facing. My replacement needs replacing. Uh. It's genius time. <laughs> okay, sure hope the latches are biting today. Yes, victory! you into a floor buffer someday. Bucky, we're sorry, our kite. So it sort of got tangled in a tree. Can you help us? But if you're too busy... Are you kidding? I'm happy to help. Well, let's go rescue a kite. <sighs> in a video game. <laughs> Perfect. Just
just feast your eyes on this fine architectural marvel. Hey, what's that? Like a lump or something? Bjorny. This isn't a lump at all. It's an igloo. You know, like my house. Yeah, but I made a skyscraper, Bjorn. That's what it is? I thought it was a stump. <laughs> Franny, hey, so what is this you've made? A coliseum, where ancient civilizations held all kinds of contests. Fighting, jumping, fencing, plus chariot racing. Brainstorm time. We should have contests ourselves, right? We definitely should. Franny, hey, you make the medals. You should probably measure my neck first. I think I'll just make a cake, all right? I don't need to measure anything, Bucky, because I already know how much cake your tummy holds. <laughs> All right, Bjorn begins training for the forest games. Whee! <sighs> it's the day of the contest. I'd better build up my skills. Wait, better? I'll just level up my skills. Through the magic of video games, I can master every single event, all while sitting on my furry bottom. Goodness, but I love the 21st century. train as much as I wanted for the contest. Don't worry. Being part of the games matters more than winning. I couldn't agree more. And I'll say as much while feasting on my victor's cake. Well, if you're ready to get going, boys, let's get these games started. Chicky? <whistles> Thus, with the puffing of the sacred noisemaker, I declare, woo! The forest games open! Which button do you push to kick the ball again? You didn't even touch it. That's strange. When I practiced in the video game, I jumped much higher. I'm a double secret black belt in video game kung fu. There's no chance whatsoever of me getting beaten. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with my controller. Can we hit reset? my friend, but it won't help you when I turn my nitrous on. Hmm? What's going on here? This game has gotten really glitchy. I beat the final boss in my video game in like 30 seconds. Prepare to get sliced by the master. All right. The forest games have come to an end, and Bjorn is the winner! Let's hear it for Bjorn! Woo! Hooray! Thanks very much. The difficulty level must have been set higher than I thought or something. Or maybe you should have gotten off your furry bottom. Hey, here, Bucky. We decided to give you a prize as well. That's awesome! A winner's cake of my very own? Cooler. It's sort of like a video game where you level up for real. Dumbbells? For real? Seriously? Get it? It works on more than one level. Piece of cake, right, Buck? <laughs> <laughs> 